One other way we often like to describe the multiplier in an exponential relationship is in terms of the half-life or the doubling time. The half-life of a quantity is the time that it takes for half of the quantity to remain. So how would we use that? We might say something like, suppose the half-life of a certain drug in the patient's blood is 3.7 hours, and 40 milligrams of the drug are initially administered. Our variables then are t, the time since the drug was administered, that's going to be our independent variable, and d, the amount of the drug in the patient's blood, which is our dependent variable. What this story is telling us with this half-life, we start out with 40 milligrams, and then every time 3.7 hours pass, right, this is the half-life, half the drug remains. So after 3.7 hours, 20 milligrams remain. After another 3.7 hours, so after 7.4 hours, 10 milligrams of the drug remain. What's our equation going to be? The amount of drug left in the bloodstream is the starting amount multiplied by a half how many times is it multiplied by a half? It's multiplied by a half every time 3.7 hours pass. So t over 3.7. When we're working with a half-life, then our multiplier is always a half, and our exponent is always time over the half-life. Obviously, this only works when our dependent variable is getting smaller. If our dependent variable is getting bigger, we have the idea of a doubling time. The doubling time of a quantity is the amount of time it takes to reach double its value. So, for example, we might be told that the doubling time of an investment is 9.4 years. Suppose $1,000 are initially invested, then our variables are V, the value. That's what's going to be multiplied over and over again, so that's going to be our dependent variable. And T, the time. That's going to go up by the same amount every time. That's going to be our independent variable. So time, value. When we first make the investment, it's worth $1,000. Then every time 9.4 years pass, the value doubles. It's multiplied by 2. After 9.4 years, the investment is worth $2,000. After another 9.4 years, so when 18.8 .8 years have passed total, the investment is worth $4,000. Our equation then, the value equals 1,000 times, what is it multiplied by? 2. How many times? It's multiplied by 2 once, every time 9.4 years pass. When we're working with a doubling time, our multiplier is always 2, and we have t over the doubling time. So if you remember how to put together these equations, that's great. If you don't remember how to put them together, you can also make the table and come up with the equation based on the table.